the crossbow. I'm gonna show you a few tips, tricks, and techniques, as well as really anything you need to know about this weapon. So here we are inside of Minecraft, and if you're too lazy to craft a crossbow yourself, you can find them here at the Pillager Outposts. By the way, this is like the coolest Pillager Outpost I've ever seen. Look at this location, it's like on the shore near near the Mesa, it's ridiculous. Uh, but up here at the top, you will find a chest that, oh, it should have, it should, should have a crossbow, I guess this one doesn't. Uh, also, of course, you can always uh, kill a Pillager, which has a slight chance of dropping their crossbow. But if you don't find a crossbow in a Pillager outpost like this one, they're fairly easy to craft. Uh, you do need a trip wire hook. So a reminder on the trip wire hook recipe is just a plank, a stick, and an iron ingot. And that is how you get a trip wire hook. Uh, after you have that, then you're just gonna put two sticks uh, up at the top, one down there at the bottom, an iron ingot at the top, tripwire hook in the middle, and string on either side. Let me grab some more string, and there you go. That is your crossbow. I'd, I'd suggest crafting it instead of just finding one, because then its durability is gonna be 100%. Now, the crossbow works very similar to the bow in the fact that you just charge it up, except that once you are done charged and charging it up, you can release and it will be loaded. Now, this will stay loaded until you click again and then it will fire off the uh, the shot. You also get that cool advancement made, old Betsy. Now, there's a disadvantage to the crossbow in that it takes an awful long time to uh, reload it, but there is an advantage is that you can keep a crossbow loaded in your hotbar or really anywhere in your inventory and you can move it around and it will just stay loaded. So if you want to kind of quick fire off using a crossbow, add multiple to your inventory. So then you can fire, switch, fire, switch, fire. Oop, I missed, oh, what? that one didn't even go off. Uh, and then, oh, that was a weird glitch. But you get my point. It can be a lot more rapid fire as long as you have already pre-charged the crossbow. One advantage that the crossbow has over a normal bow is accuracy. So I have a command block set up here to teleport me facing in an exact direction. And if I fire off these crossbows uh, just like that, you can see kind of where it hits on this block, all kind of close together. I have a, another right here, and I'm not going to move, and I'm just going to fire off this arrow. And you can see that the spread of the arrow is a lot greater than the spread of the crossbow. So if you're looking for accuracy, uh, then you should be using a crossbow. Now, a big disadvantage is that you can't just uh, let go in the middle of uh, charging your crossbow like you can a bow. Is with a bow, if you really need to spam it, you can, but a crossbow, you have to pull it all the way back until it is locked and loaded. And while you're doing that, you will be moving at sneaking speed. So that is a little bit frustrating. Now let's talk about a few different enchantments. The first one is quick charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the enchant effect uh, to get this one all the way up with quick charge. You can go up to level three and really all this does is make it reload, make you reload the crossbow faster. So we're just gonna do level three uh, and fire both of these. And you can see this is the normal speed of a reload and this is quick charge. So much, much faster quick charge once again and then reloading at normal speed. You can see it is way slower. So quick charge will really add uh, quite a lot to your speed when it comes to reloading the crossbow. Next is multi-shot. Now with multi-shot, there's really only one level. So if you try multi-shot two, it's gonna be like, wow, nah. -uh. Uh, so really you're just multi-shot one, and this will add the ability for you to fire three arrows at once. And keep in mind uh, the arrow number here, 57. Boop. Oop, sorry. I. I guess it happens right after you reload. It only uses up one arrow. So you fire three, even though you're only using up one of your ammo. And as you can see, just like with the infinity enchantment, 
uh, you can't pick up those type of extra arrows. You only pick up the ones that were shot from the middle of the uh, multi-shot because those ones are the ones that have been used up. And these other ones, uh, those are like, you know, special infinity arrows. So you can't pick those ones up. So I have summoned a whole bunch of cows here and each of these cows, if I do it again, only has half a heart. So if you punch them, they will die. The next uh, thing that we're gonna be looking at is piercing. So with your normal uh, crossbow, if you fire, it'll hit the first thing and then immediately stop. But with piercing, and we're just gonna give us the first level of uh, piercing here. Whenever you fire uh, at something, it will kill not only the thing it, that it hits, but also the one behind it. So piercing level one will hit two mobs. You can go up to piercing level four, which means that you can kill uh, five mobs. So let me uh, just, I'm gonna add six here so you can see that the last one will not be hit. There we go, loading it up and whoop, there you go. That is all of them except for the very last one. So piercing uh, is, is, a, is a nice thing to have as long as your enemies are nice and straight and decide to like all hang out together in a little group. Just like with bows, there are some enchants that cannot be added uh, to uh, to the same item. So multi-shot and piercing are just like that. With bows, you can't have infinity and mending on the same bow. Uh, with crossbows, you cannot have multi-shot and piercing on the same bow. You can have quick draw and multi-shot and quick draw and piercing, but you can't have quick draw, multi-shot, and piercing. If I was to have the perfect enchantments on a crossbow, this is what I would choose. Quick charge three, multi-shot, mending, and unbreaking three. Now why multi-shot and not piercing? Uh, the reason I go for multi-shot over piercing is it's very rare that mobs are directly behind each other. Uh, more likely than not, they will all be coming towards you from an area and they tend to be standing next to each other instead of all hanging out uh, around you. So uh, those are my uh, favorite enchants with the crossbow. And this wouldn't be a video about the crossbow if I didn't mention that you can fire firework rockets. Okay, you just made a lot of noise, it's time to go. Like I was saying, this wouldn't be a good video about the crossbow if I didn't mention that you can fire firework rockets with the crossbow. Now, in order to load them, you do have to have them in your off hand. So you do have to hold them uh, in, uh, in Java, you just hit F and it'll switch or you can just place them in your shield slot. And then when you reload, they will be available. Now this is my epically uh, enchanted crossbow. So it will actually do the multi-shot. So it will fire it off and uh, it will detonate the moment that it hits the ground, or if it doesn't hit any ground, it'll be the duration of the firework. So this is a long duration uh, firework that I have right here. So you can see the duration, flight duration is three. So it takes a little while for this one to explode, but if it hits the ground, it'll immediately explode. I have a little bit of trivia for you that uh, happens to deal with these fireworks. And that is, the only way to damage Endermen at range is with these fireworks. Endermen, if you, this is just a normal crossbow, try, oh, <laughs> forgot about that. Um, I still had the uh, fireworks in my hand, uh, but a, they will always dodge an arrow, even if you fire it from a, a, a crossbow or if you fire it from a bow. So here's an Enderman, if I use a crossbow, He'll immediately teleport out of the way and will not be damaged. But if I use a crossbow loaded with fireworks and we hit the Enderman, he will actually take damage. He still teleports away, but he takes damage because the damage is an explosion damage instead of a projectile damage. So the Enderman actually does get affected by the explosion of the firework rocket. So uh, that is kind of a, a really cool way to damage Endermen at range, which you haven't ever been able to do before. Where is this guy going? And there you have it. Is there something that I'm forgetting? Leave it in the comments down below to keep me speaking the truth. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big ol' like. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.